What's up guys, welcome back to Nick's Fishing. Now today's video, it should be a really good video. It's gonna be like a vlog, we're gonna have some fishing and just a lot of stuff in there. So let me just explain a little bit what's going on, just give you some context. So anyway, the state cross country meet is tomorrow. So today we're driving up, it's a four hour drive. So, I mean, that's gonna kinda suck. We got a four hour drive, then whenever we get up there, we're gonna go eat and stuff. We're gonna stop at Academy and I'm hopefully gonna get a new reel, so I'm gonna film that. And I just need to get some lures and stuff. And then I'm gonna put that reel on my old rod because the rod that I have right now is nice, but the reel on it, let me just show you it real fast. The reel, it has like a 1.2 to 1 gear ratio, and it's like, it's just really old. I mean, it works and stuff, but it's just really old. Basically, what I'm gonna be buying is my creek reel, because I've been fishing creeks lately a lot, and I mean, I really need a new reel for that. Anyways, after we buy the reel and stuff, we're just gonna go to the hotel or whatever and spend the night there. Then the next day, we're gonna go to the cross country meet, but at the cross country meet, there's actually a really cool looking creek there. I did fish there last year and I filmed a video, so it'll be in the link down below in the description. But anyways, I'm gonna be fishing there again. Hopefully we can get on some nice red breasts, some bass are in there, and I mean, I don't even know, there might be some more species. So without further ado, I've got like a four hour drive ahead of me, but you know, we're just gonna vlog a little bit. And then if you wanna just see the fishing, skip this time on the screen right here. But if not, enjoy the vlog. All right, guys, so we're actually here in noon and now. We just went to Texas Roadhouse. 10 ounce rub out was delicious, just in case you were wondering. So now, as you can see, we're walking into Academy. Hopefully I can find a new reel. Let's just see what they got. Okay, guys, so I'm currently inside Academy. Hopefully I won't get copyrighted for this music. Maybe it's not too loud. So I've got a couple options, let me show you. I have a 29.99 Shimano Sienna. It's a pretty nice looking reel, but if, I, if I'm reading correctly, it only has two ball bearings. It has a 5.0 to one gear ratio, which isn't bad for a little spin reel. So, I mean, that's one option. But now over here, we have this Luz. It's also $29.99, but it has seven bearings. Same exact gear ratio as the other one, 5.0 to one. Um, I mean, it's a small reel, which is good. It's got gray and blue, so it'll match my rod. So if I put some six pound line on this, I think it might be a really good spin reel. So I'm gonna put it down for the now. I mean, there's several in there, for, so it's not like somebody's just gonna come take them. I'm gonna look around and I'll come back before I make the final decision, but comment down below what you would think, the loser of the Shimano. I mean, you, obviously you can't tell me right now, but I just, I really wanna think about this. I don't wanna mess it up and make a bad decision. Okay guys, so also, I do need some line for this reel. I brought some like little cheap Sebco or something line, but I really don't want to put that on it. So my plan was to get some six pound cigar fluorocarbon. So they actually have it right up there, but it's $16.99. I'm not spending $16.99 on fishing line. So I've decided I'm just gonna go with this cheaper option. It's strand six pound monofilament. I mean, obviously not the nicest line in the world, but I'm definitely going with this, whether I get the Shimano or the Luz reel. So I've got the line, now I just need the reel. Okay guys, so I've been walking around the store a little bit. I just picked up a couple lures, like a rattle trap and some bass lures that I'm not gonna use in this video. That's not important, but anyways, I actually talked to another fisherman and he said he fished at the creek that I'm gonna fish at tomorrow and he said that he's caught worker just went by that was awkward but anyways he said that he's caught several nice bass like three pounders out of the creek that i'm gonna be fishing at which is crazy because it's a tiny creek but anyways guys i think i've decided on the reel i'm gonna get 
loose laser light. Just a tiny little spinning reel that should be perfect for creek. Seven ball bearings, 5.01 gear ratio. I'll talk about it a little bit more because I'm going to spool it up tonight. I'm just going to be putting six pound monofilament on it. So now I think I'm just going to shop around a little bit more. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. Okay guys, so last night I did not film putting my reel on the rod or anything like that, but just know that it's on there right now. I'm gonna be fishing with a new reel. So I'm actually at the creek right now. There's a possible thumbnail, I mean, gotta have a good thumbnail for this video. But anyways, this creek is muddy. Last year it was like ultra clear, but this year it's muddy. So I believe I'm gonna be putting on the yellow grub. And um, one more thing, it's 30 degrees right now. I'm in shorts and a hoodie, so this is gonna be kind of rough, but if we catch some fish, it'll be worth it. So now, I'm not gonna talk anymore, just gonna get to fishing. There's some current right here, hopefully it'll be good. Stay tuned. Guys, I literally just started fishing. First thing I have to say, this reel is amazing. I, I literally barely even cast in my wrist. Like, my wrist went like that, and it hit the bank on my very first cast, so this thing can go far. Also, on like my second or third cast, I already got a bite, so guys, it looks like we're gonna be in business today. Um, the yellow grub definitely looks like a move. Hopefully the fish can just get it in their mouth. Stay tuned, guys, we're gonna get on them. Guys, this is sick. This is literally like my fourth cast with a new reel, fourth cast at the spot. Check that out. That bass is like a pound. That's crazy. <laughs> People are giving me thumbs up and say go by. Just on that little grub right there. Guys, this is gonna be a good day. This is cool. That is sick, guys. Let's get the release on this guy. This is a healthy fish too. I'm hoping there's some bigger bass in here. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Yes. Yes, these fish are stacked in here, right in the current is where they're at. Um, this is actually a weird looking bass. I'll have to show you guys if I can get this hook out. He's blind in that eye, look at that, that's crazy. But um, this is a super healthy fat fish. I mean, gorgeous fish, the colors are great. So now, I mean, I might, oh, look at this guys. There's a craw, ah, uh, you can't really tell. There's a crawfish down in his throat, so that's what they're eating. Um, I thought this was going to be a bluegill day, but if it's just bass, I might have to switch up to like a little net rig or something, so I'm going to keep fishing this current and then I'm just going to move down, but they seem to be stacked in the spot, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get some more right here. Okay guys, so that looks like all the fish that are gonna bite in that spot right now. I'm just gonna keep moving down the creek because I've only got about an hour to fish before my sister runs. I mean, I've gotta watch a race this her senior year. One thing to add guys, my fingers are literally numb. It is so cold out here. I'm from South Georgia. I'm used to 80s and 90s. It's like <laughs> high 30s right now. This is pretty brutal for me, but if the fish are biting, like I always say, I really don't care how, how cold it is how hot it is. I mean, I'll do anything to catch some fish. So let me set you up right here. 
This is crazy, guys. I had no idea it would be this good of fishing. I mean, I've caught two fish and I've been fishing for like five minutes, and they were bass, too. Okay. Alright, that looks good. I really do like this new reel right here. It's a tiny reel. Here it is compared to my hand, but um, it casts super far with a six pound line. I really do think it's going to be one of my favorite little reels. So I'm just going to come down here and keep casting. I knew it guys, just by the way he hit, I knew he wasn't a bass. That's cool. I've already caught two species. This is just a bluegill. Oh, oh. Don't want to cooperate when they fish. I don't know how these fish are so aggressive. It's literally freezing out here. Golly. I don't see, it. they're better with the weather than I am. I'm just trying to get a good angle of him. Look at that pretty little fish right there. He got some nice purple and orange on him. I mean, he's not a big fish, not nearly as big as those bass, but a fish it is. There it is, let's get him back. Fish number three, guys. Last year, whenever I fished here, I fished for like an hour and a half and I only caught three fish in total. Now I've already got three fish. This is awesome. Unfortunately, it looks like the creek only gets shallower, so I need to make the most of this deep hole, but maybe there's some more deep holes. An update on the people right fast. I've had a few weird stares so far. People just like, what are you doing? Like fishing and talking to a camera. It's just probably a weird looking thing, but you know, that's the life of a YouTuber. I'm getting stared at by people right now, but I just gotta kind of deal with it if I want to catch some fish in an urban good. spot. Doing any good? Oh yeah, I've caught two bass and one bluegill. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Just like that, somebody came up and said something to me. I thought he was making fun of me or something. He's like, good? But he was asking me if I'd done any good. Anyways, looks like there's a little waterfall right there. So maybe on the other side of that current is good. This is just out of my element, fishing in such an urban area. Guys, if you hear screaming in the background, don't worry. It's just um, cross-country fans. It's like the finish of the race over here. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see that or not, but like runners are coming through. It's it's a really big race. Guys, this spot looks good right here. We got some more current coming through. There should be some fish for sure. There we go, guys. Just like I said, that current spot, I knew it was gonna be good. I'm definitely on a pattern, guys. Hush, bird. <laughs> Anyways, guys, just right out there by the current, caught another little bass. He wasn't even fighting until he got close to the bank. He caught like a second wind or something. Because at first he just felt like a tiny little bluegill, but there we go. Third bass of the day. That's insane to me, guys, that there's bass living in here. But third bass of the day, four fish overall. Just gonna get the release on it. Maybe there's another one sitting in here. Okay guys, so it is currently like 10.50, 10.55, and I have until 11.45 to fish because that's when my sister's running. So right now I'm actually on this trail that kind of goes in the woods. The meat is, let me see if I can show you. All the people are back over that way. But anyways, I'm just walking down this trail it goes like right along the creek, so I don't know if people ever fish here or if it's just like a running trail or what, because I've seen, I mean, cross country runners just warming up coming down here. But the creek, it doesn't look that good if you keep going down this way. So I'm gonna go like as far as I can possibly go and hopefully I can find a deep pool where they're all stacked up at. Uh, it looks like it goes on for a pretty good ways. Let me see right here. It just, it doesn't look that good. It's just shallow and super muddy. So. I don't want to waste all my time fishing somewhere like that. So, I mean, I've got a pretty decent amount of time to fish still, but I'll just let you guys know if I find something that looks good to fish at. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is a pretty big hole, but um, this looks like poop water. It is literally brown, um, and it's 30 degrees outside. I mean, this looks terrible for fishing. 
if I hadn't caught any fish so far, I'd have absolutely no confidence. But look at this. Guys, I'm literally fishing in chocolate milk. This is ridiculous. This is the brightest color I have. It's uh, chartreuse. I'll just show you the lure that I've been fishing with so far. It's gave me a little bit of luck, but the farther I go down, the creek looks shallower and muddier. So, honestly, I might have to start walking back the other way, but I'm at least going to give it a try here. I don't know if you saw that, but um, there was people walking by this way, this way, people on the other side of the creek. I didn't want to freak out, but like something big hit. Like that was 100% a bass. I don't know how I didn't hook him. That thing crushed it. I'm going to get back out there. Maybe he'll bite it again. There we go, guys. Okay, there's two, like, girls walking by that were running, so I don't want to make a scene or anything. But check this out. Third species of the day. I got a red breast right here. He choked it, too, but, um, check that out. That's a gorgeous little fish. Got a big mouth on him, so it's no wonder he got that bait in his mouth. So in this spot, the open spot where people have been fishing, there's some fish at it. Um, this is the reason I'm not throwing bass lures, because if I throw something like this, I can catch bass and bluegill and redbreast. So that's the main reason for this. I'm just a multi-species kind of guy at little creeks like this. So yeah, um, fifth fish of the day, that's pretty sick. And third species, so let's get back out there. There we go guys, another little red breast. This is what I expected to catch whenever I knew I was coming to this creek. This little red breast like this. I never, oh, dropped me. Oh. Well, like I was saying, I never expected to be catching bass here. This is what I expected. Still a pretty little fish. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see him better. Look at this. Gorgeous little fish. Got some grass on him, but you get the gist of it. You can see him pretty good back Ooh. okay this deep spot then a couple more and then i'll be done because my sister starts running in 15 minutes i believe i don't want to miss the start of that i gotta see it let's get some more cast in I have literally found them, guys. I found the red breast. It's fish number seven of the day. I believe third red breast. Golly. That's not a bad fish. Ah, oh, dang it. They always shake out of my hand. Anyways, that's not a bad little fish because this creek is not very big. So I've got three red breasts, one bluegill, and three bats. That makes six fish, or um, seven fish, excuse me. I need to hurry and catch a couple more. I did not expect to get on them like this, so I'm gonna try to catch a couple more before I have to go. Of course my line gets tangled, but anyways, whenever I get it untangled, I'll be back out there. Okay guys, my fishing time is up. I've got like five minutes to make it to the starting line. I cannot miss my sister's cross country race. I got a couple thumbnails, hopefully one of them looks pretty good. So I gotta walk across this bridge, go to the car, drop my stuff off, and then run to the race. Hopefully you enjoyed the fishing part of this video. That's going to be it for that. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of footage from the cross country race, but seven fish, that's not bad. I got to fish for like an hour, so I'm really pumped with that. I will say the new reel performed great as well. I would really love it. So without any more talking, let's head to the car. Then I got to get to the race. Right, guys, I'm running for it. I'm not going to make it in time. I don't run. Here's the race, as you can see. Tons of people. The start line's over there. I gotta find my parents, so I stay on the other side and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Alright guys, as you saw, I did make it back for the start. Um, whenever they're about to come through up here at like maybe a mile, I'm not really sure what point it's at. So I'll just let you know how our team's doing. Come on, Rebecca! Let's go, Rebecca! Good job, bro! Come on, Natalie! Let's go! Hey, keep it going, bro. You're about 30. Okay guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and close off the video right here. Um, our girls team ended up getting 5th place overall, which kind of stinks because top 4 get medals. But I mean, 5th place in the whole state of Georgia for AA. I mean, I'd say that's pretty good. But as far as my day went, it was great. 7 fish, last year I only caught 3. I caught 3 bass, 3 uh, red breasts, and 1 blue eagle. That was just awesome. I know real, absolutely love it. It's perfect for casting light lures, just like today. Perfect for free, so I will definitely be using it more in the future. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like and a subscribe down below. That will help me out a ton, guys. And, and if you like this vlog style video, just tell me that down in the comments below, because I'll definitely make more videos like this. It was super fun to film. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.